out here and competed. Um, pretty, everyone tried to just show what they can do. Uh, personally, I just try to show I can guard, uh, know how to play the game, high IQ, make the right plays. Uh, you see in the Warriors offense, a lot of their guards have screens to free themselves open. Uh, they come off screens, they come off the pick and rolls. They just do a lot of different things. You know, I just try to show that my game can adapt to different different uh, settings on the basketball court, which I feel like they, they, they would like a player that could do that. So I just try to just show my, my competitive toughness and just get out there today. Yeah, so uh, other prospects you know, throughout this thing, when they practice with them, they said it's a lot of defensive oriented. It's a lot of, did you see that today? Was it any, any more defense than you're usually used to? In a, uh, today, well, I feel like today we just, everyone got out there. You know, there's a, the, a lot of guys last workout, you know, the draft tomorrow. So a lot of guys were out here just just fighting, scrapping, you know. Um, I feel like that's that's what we did today. We came out here, we competed hard. And this is your second workout with the, with the team. Yeah. And your first was with during the parade. So how was that? Uh, how was what kind of experience was that? <laughs> it was great. Um, I just stepped outside just to see because it was like right in front of the hotel. Um, just seeing that experience, you know, uh, whichever team drafts me, I just want to be able to bring that same type of enthusiasm to the city. You know, just being a winning player and just trying to do everything I can to get wins for any team that I go to. Well, what does that do for your psyche when you see it? When you walk out, I guess, and walked over there. Mm -hmm. where, what does that do for your psyche when you see, um, you know, when you come in and you see some, that many fans on a time when you work out? What does that do for you? It just amps me up, you know, because all these fans, if you, if I, I was just seeing, like, I had a workout with the Warriors and seeing at the parade, just knowing, like, if I played with the Warriors, that. All these guys, all these fans, you know, everyone cheering, they're going to be at Oracle. And you see it on TV, you know, but being out there and just seeing, like, all the blue and yellow confetti, is, it was crazy, you know. Uh, but it definitely psyched my mind up, uh, just coming in and getting a workout. But I'm, I'm, I'm psyched up every workout, you know. I'm geared, I'm, I'm gassed up to go in and just compete, you know what I'm saying. That's, that's what I did at Cincinnati every game, go out there and give it my hardest. And that's what I try to do in these workouts, and that's what I'm going to do every day, day in, day out. And you were labeled a, you know, three and D guy in college, but you played at point guard in, in yeah. high school. Yeah, yeah. Was the three and D thing for you just out of necessity for what the team needed, or was that was? Do you think that's more of your game? Uh, well, I just feel like that's just what uh, a lot of NBA people saw me at Cincinnati. That's what they saw me as being in the NBA. Uh, they didn't really see me play on the ball a lot uh, until like my last year. I played a little bit, did a little bit in the pick and roll. But I feel like um, me just being a basketball player, being six six, six nine and a half wingspan, just being able to do a lot of things on the court uh, using the pick and roll, using using ball screens and coming off screens, knocking down open shots. I feel like you can just put me anywhere, the one, two, or the three, you know, and I can guard those positions on the other end. So I feel like just being a, a versatile guard is it will help me in, for my career. And, you know, you're obviously a really good shooter. Where do you think that comes from? Is it obviously repetition and work, but mm -hmm. is, it, is it also something that you just had all along as well? Uh, honestly, it's just something I worked on, you know, because uh, shooting, it goes into a lot as you go up into each level, just footwork, uh, a lot of shot prep things, you know, um, you see like the Warriors, you see Steph, Clay, Kevin Durant, they do a lot of shot prep. Uh, just just not their, sh their shooting form, it's just their footwork, um, having it being low, be uh, knees bent, hands ready, you know, and that's what they preach to us when we're warming up and doing our shooting drills here, just having your feet set, hands ready, being ready to shoot. So I, I, I try to do a lot of that, and this helped my shot in the long run. Yeah, and the Warriors, obviously, the 28th pick, they've shown, you know, uh, that you know, they'll play you if you, if you mm -hmm. are picked, and they'll pay you early with McCall and, and Jordan Bell, yeah. and, you know, and, Things like that. Do you is that uh, excite you? You know, for the process of maybe getting picked. In? Oh, most definitely. Uh, you plan on one of the best teams ever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they just got back to back um, like three in the last four years. So just knowing that I can come in, and if I if I do come here and come in and play, play alongside Seth Curry, Kevin Durant. You know, Draymond was here watching our workouts. Yeah, that'd be fun. You know, I feel and I know that just make me a better player playing with NBA guys wherever I go. Just elevates my game. And how would it feel for you? I mean, next year, if you look, go look across over there as a parade and you're a part of this team. Oh, that'd be, that'd be crazy. You know, that's something that uh, growing up, you know, as a kid, that's something you always want to do. Uh, you try, I tried to win that championship in college. I wasn't able to do it, but my, I, I will win the NBA championship before I retire out of the NBA. Uh, I'm, I'm setting that goal and I'm going to stick to it. <laughs> Is there an added extra degree of nervousness when you see a guy like Draymond Green watching your workouts over and over? Nah, it definitely doesn't. Uh, Cause I know how he he plays. He brings that chip on his shoulder, that enthusiasm, that aggression. So I feel like that's how that's how I try to play. He talks more than me, definitely on the court. But uh, I just try to my playing style, just getting after it, getting on the guy's skin. Um, doing everything, just being that, that tough guy on the court, I try, I try to bring that. Who are some of the guys in the league, past or present, that you have modeled your game on? 
Um, I try to take a little bit for every, from everybody. But you, now I would say like uh, Jimmy Butler would be a good one. Uh, just that he's a he's a combo guard forward kind of guy. Uh, he can play the one, two, and the three. He can guard one, twos, and threes. Uh, but also just how his work ethic. Uh, I feel like he's a hard worker. I, everyone's an NBA is hard worker, but him especially he's a 30th pick, uh, and now he's a most year All Star. You know, uh, I see that for myself. Um, I'm probably a little underrated, uh, but I don't mean anything. I know when I get in the NBA. Um, and just, I'm just ready to work and, and, and prove a lot of people wrong that doubted me. Thank you. Thank you. Did you know uh, Damien?